this is a tiny little game from from I don't even know who. Um, called Cosmic Dust and Rust. I picked it up on the Steam sale because it's like fucking uh, like I think it's less than a dollar. Um, actually, if I recall correctly, there's a it's a three bundle where you so I ended up getting it for twenty four cents for three games. And this by itself is, I think, two dollars or something. So you you can get this stupidly cheap, and for either uh, twenty five cents or a dollar, this is you will absolutely get your quarters worth out of this. It has horrible grammar. It has horrible writing. We are not yet prepared for such conflict. Try to hold them off with main gun until we set up turrets. Um, and I'm doing the initial level. Just, just because I've got almost a fully upgraded ship that I've done in maybe 20 minutes of gaming. Um, you have all these turrets you can set up. You have a main gun that you can shoot, and this is really all you start off with. And the initial levels are pretty challenging, but you can do them as many times as you want um, until you until you kill everything and you get enough money to upgrade. Um, and and eventually you have all these turrets that will just totally do everything for you. Later on in the game, it, it you know, I think it does get more difficult than what you can upgrade, so it becomes actually a bit challenging. But you've also got these uh, special abilities, like I can spit out swarms of, uh, of, of missiles, and I can put up a shield, um, and those are hit activated with a number key, which is not immediately obvious. Um, and then, you know, this is Major Jeremy Two-Bone. Stop engine and prepare to be boarded. In your dreams, Major, we won't go down without a fight. Athena is properly cap uh, capitalized. Consecrate your sh fire on the ship's vital parts. And if you just like, shoot all this stuff. And, and eventually... Uh, you find more planets. That was this was the first level, and as you can see, this is as far as I've gotten. Um, these side quests you don't actually have to select; they're just kind of achievements, but achievements with rewards. Like in a lot of the cookie clicker games, you get, um, a, a, you know, you you reach certain milestones, and, and then you collect rewards. That you can. You know, do stuff with. And they're just for doing stuff, like shooting things. And then you can upgrade the different parts of your ship. You can upgrade the amount of energy because everything requires energy to fire, uh, like your main cannon, which is I've now upgraded to the most. So you have to manage your your energy a little bit. And I'm not really sure what good the mouse magnet is, but but uh, whatever. And of course, hit points and such. And then there are all these weapon bays. I mean, that I've had, I think I've got them all uh, upgraded to the top. There's uh, two different upgrades for all the little turrets. You cannot upgrade your main cannon except through um, uh, this internal bay section, but here in the in the external bay, you can get shields, and you, if you don't want, want the shields later, you can sell them. Uh, you know, these small swarm of small rockets, you can put in instead, you know, big torpedoes and whatever. And and that's all there is to the game. And and yeah. Oh, this is not the one I wanted. To, I want to do the one right before this because it really, really has some horrible grammar. But now you can see there's enough ships that, that my uh, auto cannons are, are getting are getting overwhelmed, and I can fire off an ion cannon, which does an absurd amount of damage. Uh, if I decide I'm taking too much fire, I can shields in the block. Eventually I can, you know, disable engines, slow them down so I have more time to shoot on things. Occasionally missiles will pass by and and I'm not really sure what they do other than just give you you know, more mats so I'm not really sure what the point of it is but, you know, I'll take it. There I just fired off the volley of small rockets and I'll fire off my big torpedoes. I don't know what good those are. Is that weird guy again? Yes, the captain is the weird guy again. I understood we would give him some same welcome as before. Shot, shoot him out of the sky. And Eric 
tools, and do you even know what the concept of the treasure is? I'm having a hard time deciding whether or not the the bad the bad language is deliberate because it could be. Then again, you know it might not be. This is uh, made in Game Maker Studio, and. You know, so it could be just some kid who put some shit together, and it, you know, this could be like some dude coming up with really weird things. You know, but whatever, man. I'm, I am absolutely getting uh, some, some enjoyment out of this. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm shooting at here. My guns do, so that's fine. So the reason why my, my cannon fire is red now is because one of the missiles that you shoot down uh, buffs your main gun. And, yeah. But this is pretty much, you know, all there is. The levels do get harder. I mean, remember that first level, you only had, like, one big ship at the beginning. Uh, and in the next one, you've got several more than that. Apparently, the pickups don't really seem to decay. And now, there's a behemoth. Um, the cosmic... See, now it's a comic Trissar as opposed to the Cosmical Treasure. You know, but... whatever. Like I said, man, this, this is really a, a very low-budget effort. And, and for the price... You know, it, it's okay. I'm not going to manage to kill the cosmic treasure. He's going to get away. So obviously, I, I need I need better tactics in order to to make it because like all of my guns are dead. And I I don't know what to do now. Hmm. So there may be bugs in this, like if, if you're not killed and you don't kill it, you're just kind of fucked? Oh, it comes back the other way. Nice. So let's go ahead and shoot his guns. Is that everything I can shoot? Yeah, that's everything I can shoot. Wow, th this is... definitely... Uh, okay, there we go. Well, cool, I didn't realize that, that he whipped back around. Because all the other ships, they just kind of wait there and, and, and kill you. But, but yeah, this is cosmic... rust and dust or some shit. What, what's it called? Uh, cosmic dust and rust, and it's you can buy it for either twenty-five cents or a dollar, whichever you prefer. And it is totally worth twenty-five cents or a dollar, whichever you prefer.